leading Mr. Potter and Tabby to the farm. Do you know how to play an instrument? Because if you do, you might want to, might as well want to teach Mr. Potter. He does not know how to toot his horn correctly. <coughs> Mr. Potter and Tabby toot the horn by Cynthia Ryland and illustrated by Arthur Howard. Chapter 1. Loud Music Mr. Putter and his fine cat Tabby were neighbors with Mr. Mrs. Teaberry and his, her good dog Zeke. Mrs. Teaberry and Mr. Putter had a lot in common. They both liked bingo. They both liked free samples. They both liked rain. And they both liked music. Mrs. Teaberry liked country music the best. She liked the broken heart. She liked the big silver boots and the tall hair. Mr. Putter liked opera. He also liked the broken hearts and he liked big round heroes and the violins. Some days Mrs. Teaberry would play her country music very loud for Mr. Putter to hear. Some days Mr. Putter would play his opera very loud for Mrs. Teaberry to hear. They liked sharing. One day, Mrs. Teaberry had an idea. We should join a band, she told Mr. Putter. But I can't join a band, said Mr. Putter. I can't play in an instrument. Of course you can, said Mrs. Teaberry. Old people can do anything they want. Can they say they can't play an instrument? asked Mr. Putter. No, said Mrs. Teaberry. So she and Mr. Putter went to look for a band. Chapter 2. Tough Teeth. Mr. Putter and Tabby and Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke wanted to hear many bands play. They wanted to hear an Irish band play jigs. But the jigging make, made Tabby nervous and Zeke itch. So they could not play it. An Irish band. Next, they went to hear a brass band. The brassy sound made Mrs. Teaberry teeth hurt, so they could not play in a brass band. Then they went to hear a jazz band. The band played very late in a club. After midnight, Mr. Putter fell asleep, so they could not play in a jazz band. Poor Mr. Putter and Miss, Mrs. Teaberry. It seems like that bands were only for people who had tough teeth and didn't need much sleep. They sat with Tabby and Zeke and wondered what to do. Mr. Pot Chapter 3. Mr. Putter Camp. I have it, said Mrs. Teaberry. A few days later, she had brought Mr. Putter and Tabby some peach tea and carrot pie. We will be a band. But I still can't play an instrument, said Mr. Putter. Of course you can, said Mrs. Teaberry. I can, said Mr. Putter. You can if you want to, said Mrs. Teaberry. Mr. Putter thought about Tabby's nerves and Zeke's itch and Mrs. Teaberry's teeth, and he thought about a nap. I'm not sure if I want to, said Mr. Putter. If you try, I will bake you something sweet, said Mr. T Mrs. Teaberry. Sweet, said Mr. Putter. Something really nutty, said Mrs. Teaberry. Nutty, said Mr. Putter, with lots of vanilla, said Mrs. Teaberry. I'm ready to play said Mr. Putter. Four, chapter 4. Mr. Putter Tries The next day, Mr. Putter bought a little horn. He bought it because it was on sale. When he got home, Mr. Putter tooted the horn for four hours. He was a very bad tutor. The worst. Tabby went outside to sleep in the ferns. Miss Teaberry did not buy a, a horn to chew. She bought a mandolin. When she got home, she started plucking. She was a good plucker. She plucked all night long, 
and Zeke did not itch. By the next morning, Mrs. Teaberry could pluck her favorite country song. But Mr. Putter could not toot his favorite songs. His tutor was holding up a tomato plant. Chapter 5. The Band Mrs. Teaberry forgave Mr. Potter for being a bad tutor. She said he could listen to her pluck and set instead. So he did. He listened to her pluck all the broken-hearted songs she could think of. He liked it very much. Tabby purred. Zeke did not itch. After all, after the concert, they all had a sweet, nutty, vanilla surprise. Mrs. Teaberry said Mr. Putter deserved it because he had tried. She said she did not mind being the only person in the band. She said the name of her band would be Plucking Without Putter. And they laughed and laughed and laughed.